When we first came on air, the traditional TV newscast offered news on a limited basis. Inside Marks. But in our new media world, how and when we deliver that information has become a 24-7 endeavor. It's like a surfer, you've got to ride the wave and you've got to reach people wherever they might go. Phil Tenser heads up WCVB's award-winning digital media team. Make sure that the code's zero zeroed for the And a big part of that is social media which he says has allowed WCVB to reach a global audience. Television is one language. Writing for the website is another kind of language, but social media is a different vernacular all in, a, in itself. And more clouds starting Chief on meteorologist Friday. Cindy Fitzgibbon knows how to talk the social media talk. It's gonna be Thursday. And use it as a critical communication tool, especially in sharing real-time information. Not only am I putting information out there, North I am Boston. getting information back and it is extremely helpful because people are telling me what's going on. And the glory of social media, especially when it comes to big storms developing, you can broadcast from anywhere. Just ask Mike Wonkum. Greetings from the beautiful White Mountains of New Hampshire, but I'm also keeping an eye on the traffic. Beyond the weather, headlines and breaking news, social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram and TikTok also offer up the opportunity for all of us to be, well, Happy more Wednesday. social. Reporter Danae Bucci understands the power. She has over a half a million TikTok followers. Hey, why do you think you've connected? I think, you know, being genuine and showing people what they want to see is the best way to get people to interact with your content. And that power often translates into a lot of good for our community. So I know for me, I like to use social media to share more about causes that I'm passionate about. And then you have that. As you know, Erica, with Chronicle, we go on so many wild adventures. We have so much content, but oftentimes it's hard to get it all out there. So we're able to post some behind the scenes images and also get a little bit of tease of what's to come. Whether it's sharing the latest with our growing families or displaying our favorite hobbies like photography or simply finding time for a little silly fun, we've grown accustomed to pulling back the proverbial curtain on our private lives. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a friend, and I kind of feel like it gives people a little glimpse into our lives because they want to know what we're really like in person. Social media isn't the only thing that's taken off. Streaming is everywhere, and here at WCVB, we are all over it with our very local app. It's very difficult finding flights. It allows you to watch new Center 5 content on demand. What do you got in your hand? As well as a bunch of original programming connecting you to the Boston community. And this is my town. All you need is a smart TV or smartphone. Somebody smarter than me once said, one, five, fifteen, fifty. One inch. 5 inch, 15 inch, and 50 inch. And we have to reach people on all of those things. Whether it's streaming video, social media, the next generation of the website, digital content is here to stay. And as we continue to move forward through our next 50 years, you can be sure that all of us here at WCVB will continue to embrace all forms of communication so we can connect directly with you wherever and whenever you need us.